Ana. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the national colors by the East High School Junior ROTC Color Guard and the Pledge of Allegiance led by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Williams. Please also at this time remove any hats you may have on, except for you graduates. Keep yours on. Uh, hats, hoodies though, please to pay respect to the national colors.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone, please be seated. <clears throat> Welcome, friends and family. My name is Louis Anahosa. I am the proud principal of The East High School. <laughs> when I'm hanging out in the Kansas side, people ask me who I work. I tell them East High School. They clarify it with Olathe East, Shawnee Mission East. I tell them, no, the East High School. You should all be proud of your school. As your principal, I am very proud wearing my East Bear on my jackets, on my t-shirts, on my sweaters. There are many days where I would wear my East t-shirt underneath my East polo that covered, is covered by my East jacket. It's a great conversation starter. Parents, guardians, and family members, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to work with your students. It's been an honor and privilege to be at East High School to work with your students. I've been working with your students for the past year and a half and have seen so many of our seniors grow up so much in just that year and a half. I know you all will continue to grow and look for ways to improve to make yourself the best person possible. I wish you all continued success and hope you make the choices that will put you in positions to be successful. Keep in mind, I know at school we talk about making good choices and we reward you for making those good choices. When you're an adult, there's no one out there when you make good choices to reward you. Most of the time, no one says anything because good choices are supposed to be made. Just because no one is there rewarding you does not mean you don't have to make those good choices. I wish I got a reward every time I paid my bill or didn't smack Dr. Allen. <laughs> Just make sure you make the choices that will put you in positive situations, even if, others, even if others seem to be having fun or not getting in trouble making, uh, get in trouble making those poor choices. It happens all the time, but it eventually doesn't work out on the end. As I have always said, I don't care what you do when you grow up, as long as you're the best at it. The talent that is sitting in front of me is unreal, and I hope that you tap into your potential and work your tails off. There's a time when people will quit telling you that you have so much potential. Don't let the potential go to waste. Now is the time to do what you're destined to do. Please come back to East and share your, your students' uh, success stories. I want you all to know that we're always going to be here for you. Our future graduates need to see and hear success stories. So when you reach your personal goals, let us know so we can brag about you to these students and teachers that you work with. Let's enjoy your day together and celebrate what you've worked so hard for the past four years. Go Bears. I'm going to introduce Ms. Danner, Sheila Danner, for the next uh, part of our program. Good afternoon. I am Sheila Danner, one of the assistant principals at East as well. As we prepare for the graduation ceremony today, please silence your cell phones uh, and refrain from, refrain from loud, boisterous noises throughout the presentation of diplomas. While we are here to celebrate, we also want everyone to be able to hear when their child is introduced. We ask that you do remain seated during the presentation of diplomas and do not block the aisles or stand in front of other guests to take pictures. 
There will be time to take pictures after the graduation ceremony ends. Please refrain from conversation and honor all graduates the way you wish for your child to be honored today. Thank you for being here today to celebrate this accomplishment with our seniors. Before I walk away, I want to tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you. Congratulations today. Next, uh, Mr. Van Osdale and Mr. Hart will come to introduce guests. All right, we'd like to take a moment to recognize our guests, um, our superintendent, his board, as well as our, um, our new school board. Uh, starting with uh, Dr. Mark Bedell. Of course, recognizing our principal, Louis Inahosa. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of School Leadership, Ms. Elizabeth Austin. <laughs> Director of Career and Technical Education, Rashawn Crothers. Our Chief Human Resources Officer, Dr. Jennifer Collier. Our Chief Student Support and Intervention Officer, Dr. Luis Cordoba. School Board Member, Rita Cortez. Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum, Instruction, and Professional Development, Dr. Trinity Davis. School Board Member Nate Hogan. Chief Financial and Chief Financial and Operations Officer Linda Quinley. Deputy Superintendent Dr. Marla Shepard. Our Assistant Superintendent of School Leadership, Dr. Darren Slade. Uh, Chief Legal Counsel, William Thornton. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of School Leadership, Dr. Letitia Woodley. <laughs> Vice Principal, Dr. Lee Allen. <laughs> also, Vice Principal, Mr. Benjamin Richardson. The man sitting next to me, Vice Principal Brian Van Osdale. Vice Principal Sheila Danner. And the gentleman next to me, Vice Principal Brian Hart. Uh, Tanya Perez. Next up will be our salutatorian, Ms. Tanya Perez. staff and students. I want to thank all parents, families, members, and staff workers for coming today. Bienvenidos parientes, trabajadores, y maestros. Le quiero decir gracias por venir hoy. My name is Tanya Perez, and I am honored to be giving this auditorium speech. I am happy to say that all nights of staying up till 3 a.m. doing homework and studying was worth it. I went through a few obstacles just to get here, and I know I wasn't the only one. We all struggled together. Some of us may have shared with others, laughed together, cried together, or we might have done it all by ourselves. But regardless, we all did it, which is one thing we all have in common. We all had obstacles to overcome just to finish this chapter. As cheesy as it sounds, you, must be, you should all be proud of yourself. Today is an important day for class of 2019. It is the ending chapter of high school, but it is the beginning for our long-term goals. Today is the day we all realize how far we have come to get here, starting from freshman year to senior year. This day, 
we must remember the feeling of excitement, relief, and most importantly, the feeling of accomplishment. Keep the same remarkable, anxious, but excited energy with you through life. That way we can achieve our goal. I know we all have all learned so much throughout our four years of high school. One thing I learned was the value of education. Being raised by parents who came from Honduras and Mexico and did not have the opportunities of reaching a high level of education, they have taught me the importance of making sure mine is the best. I never understood it till now. Education has taught me to take advantage of all the many opportunities that open up to me. One door that was open to me was part of being part of the ECA um, Early College Academy, which I am quite thankful for. Thank you, Ms. Paula, for giving me the opportunity to finish my associates before 18. Also, thank you for scaring me when you saw how close I was getting to a B or C. You always gave us tough love, which is exactly what we needed to succeed. Also, another special thanks to Mr. McCullough and Ms. Perna for helping me through my journey and for the recommendation letters. I would not have gotten my awards if it wasn't for you. I don't know everyone's life goal, but one thing I want you to remember is to keep feeding your brain with education. Education does not mean you have to keep pursuing school, although I hope you all do. But pursuing education is to gain knowledge on a daily basis. Keep learning and growing mentally and emotionally. Learning will take you far. It will, reach you to, it will teach you not to redo mistakes you have, but show you new ways of learning for a better life. A few inspiring words I want to give you, not only for my classmate, but any other person who needs to hear it. Always keep dreaming and waking up. Dream enough to fantasize the excitement of where you want to take your journey to, to succeed. However, also remember to wake up and work on your dreams. Hard work and education will take you where you wish to be at not by sleeping on them. Another special thanks to my other half, Abby, my support system, Lorena, and loving parents, and my younger sibling, Ruthie. Thank you for teaching me that it is okay to dream as long as I work for it. Class of 2019, keep dreaming and pursuing what you wish for. it. And as a wise woman named Elwood said, we did it. Now we'll have a musical selection from the East High School Choir.
Good afternoon. I am Dr. Allen, Senior Vice Principal here at East High School. I have the honor of recognizing the graduates this afternoon, but first I want to say thank you to all of the parents and guardians for allowing us to educate your scholars here in the Kansas City Public School District. Thank you again to all of the teachers and counselors, security officers, cafeteria staff, and janitorial staff, and everyone that interacts with our students. Thank you for your hard work, dedication, and support this school year. At East High School, we have scholars who attended the Early College Academy. The Early College Academy is a partnership between Kansas City Public Schools and Penn Valley Community College. The Early College Academy is designed for highly motivated high school students who are ready to leave high school and participate in the rigor of being a full-time college student. Through the ECA, qualified high school students will graduate with an associate's degree from Penn Valley as well as their high school diploma. Seniors, if you are a part of the Early College Academy, will you please stand to be recognized? You may be seated. The National Honor Society is a nationwide organization that had its founding in 1921 by the National Association of Secondary School Principals. Selection is based on four criteria, scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Students must maintain a 3.0 grade point average and be good citizens not only in the school but in the community. They must also participate in service projects to better their environment. The time spent working on special service projects contributes towards their monthly service hours requirement. Members of the National Honor Society are recognized by wearing a blue honor cord. Will the National Honor Society students please stand to be recognized? You may be seated. In an effort to enhance educational opportunities for high school students, the Missouri Legislature established the a Schools Program as part of the Outstanding Schools Act of 1993. Graduates who qualify may be eligible to receive financial assistance with tuition and fees to any public community college, vocational, or technical school in the state of Missouri, contingent upon continued funding by the Missouri Legislature. Our a seniors graduating this afternoon are wearing white cords. If you are an A-plus student, will you please stand to be recognized? You may be seated. Manual Career Technical Center proudly prepares our seniors for college and career readiness in the Kansas City area. The programs offered are automotive collision repair, automotive technology, construction technology, C++ and Java, culinary arts, healthcare, EMT, and pre-engineering. This honor is denoted by our graduating seniors wearing the red cords. If you are a member of VOTEC, AM and PM, will you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> you may be seated. Under the guidance of our college advisor, Ms. Zumi, our counselors, Dr. Fuller, Ms. Schaff, and Ms. Samick, and our sponsor from Penn Valley Early College Academy, I want to take a moment to highlight just a few of the awarded scholarships our seniors have earned this year. As I call your name, please stand. Recipients of the Greater Kansas City Community Foundation Hispanic Development Fund, Carlos Aguirre, Genesis Romero and Luz Moreno. They received awards of $750, $1,000, and $1,500. KC Scholar recipients received $50,000 each. When I call your name, please stand. Nyla Witherspoon. Carla Perra. Frida Baron, Brianna Hensley, Michaela Rivers, Luz Moreno, Giselle Cruz, Ayana Dixon, 
and to Merrick Turner. You may be seated. Yarnalise Ayala, please stand. Yarn Elise received the Kansas City Art Institute Merit Scholarship totaling $83,195. <laughs> you may be seated. Isaiah Gonzalez, will you please stand? Isaiah Gonzalez received a total of $13,695 from Northwest Missouri State University. Diego Ortiz, please stand. Diego received a total of $10,700 from the University of Missouri. Makala Rivers, will you please stand? Now this is only a few of hers. Makala received $1,000 for the Missouri Western Dean Academic Scholarship. She received $32,000 from the K-State Denison Scholarship. She received $1,000 from the Black Achievers Scholarship. She received $24,000 from Avila University. Her total scholarship award package in all, and she's got choices, $114,095. If you are a graduating senior and you've received any scholarship and or grant of any kind to attend any college or university, will you all please stand to be recognized? Allow me to apologize to any 2018 graduates in the room for what I'm getting ready to say. The grand total scholarship for last year's graduating class was 851,137. The grand total for this graduating class of 2019, hold on, $1,480,000. That is a 74% increase from last year. So Mr. Van, this class has set the bar extremely high for 2020. <laughs> Graduating seniors, as we prepare to celebrate this turning point, I think it's appropriate that I share at least one last observation and hopefully a bit of wisdom with you. Until now, your education has been meticulously planned out for you. You knew what time your bus would show up. You knew what time school started. You knew that the bells rang approximately every 50 minutes to signify that class was over and that you should move along. Ultimately, you knew that school ended at 2.20, not to insinuate you were watching the clock. You knew what your day was going to be like. You knew what to expect, and you could prepare accordingly. As you prepare to walk across the stage today to in enter into adulthood, you will find that your time will not be planned out for you, that you now have to take the initiative and the responsibility to blaze your own trail. As scary as that may sound, let me reassure you, you can do it. From this point forward, your education will come in many forms. Lessons may come from books, they may come from experiences, or disguised as opinions, sometimes even from people you don't want to listen to. Remember to set your goals and remain focused. With all of the determination and perseverance you can muster, keep pushing ahead. Reach for the stars. And once you have reached the stars, don't settle there. Continue to reach for the sun and the moon and far beyond. My challenge to you, graduating seniors, don't just try to be the best in the world, 
rather be the best for the world. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2019. Next, we will have our valedictorian address from Ms. Ayana Dixon. off with a good afternoon friends and family and fellow students or my fellow seniors. First I would like to give thanks to the friends and family and staff that has helped us get to where we are today and to not and to like make us not give up throughout the four years of torture. Speaking of where we are we're at our graduation. Today is a day that we graduate and say goodbye. We can finally say goodbye to high school, goodbye to early mornings, loud bells, bad lunches, terrible teachers, not naming any, um, sorry. Um, <laughs> however, even though we are saying goodbye to those things, we can't forget about everything else. We can't forget about the friendships, the memories that we have created while we have been here for four years, or even if you've been here for less than four years. Those friendships and memories are what have gotten us through so much, and we just can't leave them behind. But at the same time, we can't stay stuck in the past. Today is a day that we move on and grow. We are about to face a whole new chapter of experiences that will be both good and bad. Whether or not it's good or bad is now up to you. You are now in control of your life and everything falls hold on, on your decisions. Sorry about that. If you want to live the good life, you must have the drive to go after it. Otherwise, you can't be mad if you don't get the life that you want. As James Corden has said, the only thing you got to do is that you need to always be the best you can knew the best you can do, no matter what the given situation, no matter what comes up against you. You do the best you can do and never give up. The only thing that I ask of you today is to never give up. No matter how hard the situation may seem, find some type of willpower, motivation, or whatever it is to push through it. Because although life's a climb, the view's great. Congratulations, seniors, we've made it. Superintendent Dr. Mark T. Bedell, will you please join me at the podium? Yeah. On behalf of East High School, it is my honor to present to you the 2019 candidates for graduation. These students have met all district and state graduation requirements to be considered a graduate from the Kansas City Public Schools. Dr. Bedell, do you accept our graduating class of 2019 from East High School. I do. So congratulations uh, to all of you who are getting ready to receive your high school diplomas. I also want to extend our gratitude to the parents, guardians, friends, and, and neighbors, everybody who's here to support you today in addition to the faculty and staff members that have worked hard to help you get to this point. I have just one piece of advice and then we will get ready to move on with the show. And it's simple. Do not let others define who you are. Your time is limited on this earth, so don't waste it trying to live someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others opinions drown out your own inner voice. So here we go. Upon the recommendation of the administration and faculty of East High School, I seek the authority of the chair and the school board of the Kansas City Public Schools to confer upon each of you a high school diploma with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Members of the board, do you accept this class? They said we do. Thank you. As superintendent of schools, I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by the Kansas City Public Schools Board and the state of Missouri. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2019 to be great. 
graduates of East High School.
Oscar Armando Barbosa Nieto. Mario Alberto Barrera Juárez.
Jetzt bin ich ein Ostres.
Sarabi y Elizabeth Vázquez.
Moreno, Luz. family and graduating class of 2019. I am honored to be the TASA girl. Before we get to the last step of our ceremony, may I say a few words. The future is uncertain, and I hope that no matter how many failed attempts at life we have, we will choose to persist. Life will not be easy as we already know, but we are just beginning. High school was a foundation, foundation to our goals and dreams, and I encourage all of us to continue building up on that foundation with perseverance. It has been my pleasure to attend East with all of you. We created memories, built friendship, and it's the place where we succeeded. A member of our trip, most of us will remember, is our trip to Washington, D.C., organized by Ms. Dash in her advanced English class. Having the opportunity to meet Roy's Blunt secretary and touring the White House was memorable. And of course, how Mr. Myers got lost but later found his way back to the group. And may I say thank you, teachers, for helping us through our stubbornness moments and for giving us opportunities. A teacher we will always remember for making mental shortcuts to understand math is Mr. Lawrence. No one will forget. No one will forget him screaming, how many X's are domain range? Also a big recognition to Ms. Coronado for never wish for never restricting our creativity and for giving us life ad advice. Thank you for being my mentor since eighth grade. Your little ducklings will always admire, remember, and respect you. Our time at East has come to an end, but it's also the beginning for new opportunities. Class of 2019, at this time, please rise. to the left. 